Felipe Rodriguez, one of the few swimmers who's been able to beat Andre Brazil over the last decade before the emergence of Dubrov and Kripak of the Ukraine over the last 18 months or so. But Felipe Rodriguez, a very popular figure in Brazil, goes in four, Dubrov in five on his outside. So, suing for the pride of the host nation, Dubrov's underwater is better despite the better start and the quicker reaction time from Rodriguez. Van der Voort slow off the blocks and is battling to find his stroke in the water. While uh, Fanchenko of the Ukraine goes in six, is just looking to hold off the shoulder of Dubrov. Rodriguez at the moment, though, is not allowing Dubrov to come into this race at all. No, he is not. And cheers, that was a, a very first, a very fast first 50. 24-44, Rodriguez touching in, but only just ahead of Dubrov, 24-89. So Rodriguez is holding on here after a good solid turn, but Dubrov could turn it on at the end. And Dubrov will be saving some energy for the final. He'll be wanting to push for the final. Looks to be just catching Rodriguez in the closing stages here. It's a battle for pride between Brazil and Ukraine, and Dubrov is going to take it. He's finishing fastest on the stroke. He gets the touch ahead of Rodriguez. They're well ahead of any other swimmer in the pool. Bonchenko and Van der Voort managed to touch in a dead heat for third place. But what a swim between Rodriguez and Dubrov. And Dubrov, as he swims at 51.76, slower than Maxim Kripak. And you just get a sense from Dubrov that he's got plenty left again. and that he will be fancying himself for yet another gold medal in the pool at Rio 2016. Well, there was nothing in it when they touched in at the first 50. It was a great push off the wall by Dubrov and it really set him up well for that final 50. But look at that, stroke for stroke. <laughs> and the smallest of margins there. Very close finish indeed. But Dubrov really laying down the gauntlet qualifying fastest from heat two.